are you sometimes down in life <laughs> are you getting hit moment after moment day after day are you experiencing blows setbacks <laughs> punches every day right not every day maybe but once a month you know <laughs> or as people say last year was terrible it was full of setbacks okay so whenever we think of challenges problems uh, setbacks we always think of one planet which is that planet yes 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 i know what you're thinking saturn himself right but there's something that we forget actually saturn indicates what kind of problems we will face in this world so for example uh, if saturn is placed in the 10th house then there could be some issues with the profession in saturn dasha disclaimer antar dasha mahadasha not not always you know people think oh saturn in 10th house career is finished <laughs> no it's not like that of course even if the antar dasha comes does does it does not mean that you will only face problems there will be problems but you will get some name fame after that but what what people fail to realize is there are two planets which are very important which take us out of problems are you interested to get out of problems or are you interested to just know what problems will you face in life right even if people don't know what problems they will face they will still do as good or as bad because the problems will anyways come but if you can empower somebody uh, to actually understand what kind of problems they will face and how they can come out of it then that is uh, that's like a great social service so which are those two planets which are very important because uh, who who can actually take you out of problems you know number 1 is mars number 2 is mercury so why mars because mars is actually the soldier see why mars because mars is the lord of the first house the first house is your existence right he is the lord of aries the first house in your uh, natural zodiac naisargik kundli kalpurush kundli so if you have a good mars then what happens is you have a fighting spirit you never give up or give in <laughs> so <clears throat> mars is very important because if your mars is not good enough then what happens is you will not be able to fight for very long or you will fight but uh, your your intensity of fighting will not be the best okay you will bounce back even if mars is bad but uh, uh, you will need a long time to bounce back and maybe it's already late till then okay and the other planet which is equally more important is actually mercury because mercury shows your thought process what do you think of yourself do you think you can overcome problems if yes how do you overcome them that is that is where mercury comes into play so anybody who has mars mercury conjunction in their horoscope ah oh, very tough fighters not just fighters intelligent fighters good mars fighter good mercury intelligent good mars mercury intelligent and good at fighting but if mars mercury are together and on top of that if they are well placed wow the best fighters you will ever see even if they are mutually aspecting each other top notch fighters you 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 punch them on their face they'll get get back and punch you back <laughs> of course don't go on punching uh, people for no reason uh, but mars mercury gives you the ability to bounce back you know as dr vivek bindra says you know bounce back yes bounce back the intensity with which you bounce back will be decided by mars and when you should bounce back where you should bounce back when you should not where you should not bounce back that will be decided by mercury because 
Mercury is the planner inside you. So whenever life has punched you, always go and check where is your Mars, where is your Mercury. Even if they are not together. Okay, if they're together, uh, great. Or else, uh, if somebody's date of birth has 9 and 5 together because 9 in numerology is uh, Mars and 5 is actually Mercury. So if somebody has 9 and 5 together, we know they are like, they are very good fighters or they can come out of problems. Okay. So, and people who have 9 and 5 in numerology or Mars-Mercury conjunction in astrology, you can see some many times, you know, they are very good at understanding things and problem solving. You know, they're, they're very, very knowledgeable. They are very smart. They're very intelligent. You know, they can <clears throat> talk to you. You can talk to them for hours. Okay. Uh, just quickly, I am checking the date of birth for our India's uh, previous Prime Minister, Manmohan Singh Ji, I think. Yes, 20, 26th uh, September 1932. And if you add his uh, date of birth, I guess it comes to 5. Uh, 8. Okay, 9. Ah, yes, 5. So if you add his date of birth, it's 5. And there is 9. Okay, 9 means not the 1932 because everybody in the 1900s will have 9. But September is 9. Okay, so 26 September 1932. So, if you see him, uh, so he was very instrumental in uh, bringing, uh, in getting India out of this 1991 crisis. Again, 9 is there. <laughs> 1991, you know, the financial crisis of India. He and uh, India's late, uh, he, of course, he was finance minister that time. And also India's late Prime Minister, uh, Shri P.V. Narsimha Rao Ji. Both of them, you know, without them, uh, uh, India would have collapsed. Okay, Of course, I'm not going to politics and there are so many other things which we can discuss. You know, was it good, bad, right, wrong? Why did it lead to that point? But I'm just giving an example. You know, he's one of the finest economists, Dr. Manmohan Singh Ji. Of course, you can debate how he was as a prime minister, you know, good, bad, what he did, you know, was excellent, not the best or whatever. You can go on debating for hours, you know, 10 years he was India's prime minister. But at least we know that his sense of finance and intelligence uh, when it comes to uh, finance, economy, that that is excellent. Of course, you can also debate that. But... In general, he's known and respected as a very uh, good economist, okay? May not be uh, very, uh, the most loved prime minister of India, but yeah, certainly one of the most finest economists. You know, I think he was also the governor of the Reserve Bank of India. Yeah. Okay, interesting. <clears throat> so, this is just an example, you know, so you can find people, you know, with Mars, Mercury or 9 and 5, you know, they are excellent at solving problems. And this is very important because uh, if you uh, if you cannot uh, fight back and solve problems, then uh, you will stay down. So therefore, whenever you have problems, just check two things. First, you check your Mercury. So where is Mercury in the chart? Because Mercury will show your skill sets. So let's assume you know uh, you 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 are stuck in some problem. Not not just some silly problem, you no. Know, but there's a serious crisis in your life, you know. So how can you get out of it? You know. So if Mercury is placed, for example, um, in in the sign of Gemini, for example, then you can actually communicate regarding that house and uh, regarding that problem, sorry, not the house. And then you can discuss it with the other party and maybe there could be a solution. So if Mercury is in Capricorn, then 
you have to work very hard with a lot of planning and structure and then you can come out of it okay and then uh, if you see your mercury then next you see mars so mars will tell you you know to what extent you will bounce back you know that intensity and that is why the problem is if mars is in a water sign you need to go slow like cancer or scorpio pisces you know scorpio is still okay but um, moon get, mars gets debilitated in the sign of cancer so if there is cancer or pisces you need to go slow because a mars in a water sign can make you go so fast that you end up doing wrong things and you uh, make very bad decisions in life okay so therefore uh, check where your mars is uh, check where your mercury is and once you can um, actually figure out both the placements then you have to see is there some connection you know connection in the sense you know are they together or they mutually aspect each other or their dispositors are sitting together you know dispositor is lord of the sign so for example if mercury is in taurus and uh, mars is in sagittarius so the dispositor of mercury is venus and dispositor of uh, mars is jupiter so jupiter and venus are they together you know even then this can help okay or jupiter venus are mutually aspecting each other okay or if mars mercury are in parivartan yoga they are sitting in each other's uh, signs uh, each other's houses you know even then this could help but nonetheless even if it is not there you need to check so whenever people see whenever you are giving a consultation uh, as an astrologer people will approach you uh, for solving some problem in life okay so for an astrologer uh, mars mercury is very you know important you know uh, if they have this then that's excellent even if they don't have it's still fine but if you have it's excellent so uh, if you if you have this uh, ability to solve problems you know you can do very good in areas of astrology engineering you know, and all this because you can solve problems so please check what is going on with these two planets and then you can actually uh, go and uh, tell the client exactly how can you solve the problems and to what intensity you can bounce back, okay? And then you will understand that uh, people... See, the best thing about astrology is you can empower the person who is asking you, okay? So it's not that you keep the person dependent on you as an as an astrologer okay this problem has come what should i do what should i do here there you know it's like every time there's a problem he calls you uh because you are his family astrologer whatever but then that person's ability to deal with challenges in life is destroyed okay which is not very good so <clears throat> yeah so you have to do things in a way that empowers that client okay that that is very essential otherwise uh, everything will just fall in deaf ears and you will keep getting uh, messages of like you know people who have consulted you always this has happened because you have not instilled the confidence in that client that they can take care of themselves and they, they can take care of their own lives okay that is why they are approaching you again and again okay which is not very good for them specifically okay and not good for you also either okay all right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Once again, if you're new, then please like, comment, share and subscribe. And if you like this, then hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you want a consultation, my website is down below. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and he will help you bounce back. <laughs>